Welcome guys to my tutorial on how to set up a bucket server. Uh, this is for 1.5 and this will work for every version of uh, bucket from 1.5 to whatever new version is up 2.0 or something stupid like that. Right, so the first thing you want to do is go to start down here, go to computer, right click properties. Once on properties, what you want to do is look at what version your Windows is at. So as you can see, system type 64-bit. If you're on 32-bit, then you know you. I'll tell you which things to download and what not to do. So you want to make might want to make a little bit of no, a note of that. So we'll just open a little notepad up here, make it a little bit smaller, and we'll just call it 64-bit OS. Right. So just remember that. Okay. Next, you want to go to Start Control Panel. And then you want to go to, once it loads up, folder options. And under folder options, go to view, and then go to show hidden files and folders. You're gonna need that on. Uh, you can turn it off afterwards, just click do not show hidden files and folders. Job's done. Right, so once you've done that, this is the actual uh, making a server bit. So what you wanna do is right click on your desktop, new, new folder, and just call it something simple like server. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do server. As you can see, it's right there. Right. So what we're gonna do is go to your internet one. And first off, you wanna download Java JRE. Click this one here, Java JRE. The link in the description will probably take you straight to this page. So what you wanna do is click accept the agreement. Then whatever OS you was on. So as you can see, I was on 64-bit. You wanna download the 64-bit the .exe, make sure it's the exe one and not the tar.gz. For 32 bit, what you want to download is the Windows x86 offline. So 32 bit, offline, 64 bit, that one, the, the .exe. So I'm not going to do it because I've already done this and I've already got it fully installed. Right, so you can close it, you don't actually need that. Next what you want to do is download the Minecraft, well the Bucket 1.5. What you want to do is download this. Save it to your desktop and rename it to Craft Bucket. Just literally just name it Craft Bucket and hit save. Now, my download at the moment is being very, very slow. I have no idea why it's being very slow. So for now, I'm just gonna cancel it because I already have it. Okay, so cancel. So once you downloaded it, should, let me just get this one out. Uh, where is it? There it is. Should like that. So once you downloaded it, it should look like that, and it should say craftbucket.jar. <laughs> right. So next, what you're gonna do is just put that in the server folder, like so. Once in the server folder, should look a bit like that. Pretty simple. Next, what you wanna do is right-click new, new text document down here. So click text document. Renaming it doesn't matter. You don't. You're gonna delete it afterwards. What you wanna do is just open it and just drag it to the side there. Next, you want to go to this page, this will be link 3 in the description, and highlight, copy and paste this bit here. Copy, right click, paste. And you can see it's already renamed craftbucket.jar for us, and that is pretty much it. That is the bat thumb you got to set up. Don't hit save yet, because you're not quite done. Right, if you're on a cracked version, either remove this completely, or put false. It's up to you, I'm just going to leave it in. So if you're on the cracked version, put false there, I'll remove it. Then hit file, save as. Now this is the important bit, don't just hit save. What you wanna do is click here and type in something, whatever you want. So I'm just gonna call it simple as server underscore run. Make sure you put this at the end, dot B-A-T. If you do not put it like that at the end, it will not work. You'll just get a text document. Then what you do is just hit save. So once that's done, you can close this and you can delete that text document. You no longer need it. Okay, so now you should have these in your folder. What you want to do is run the, the server.bat. So the .bat file that you just created, double click it. And it should look a bit like this. It should give you a few errors or saying bucket is not updated or this is not a recommended build. Just ignore it, okay? You, you don't really need it. So now your server set up. Now what you do is load up your Minecraft. Now this is how you join the server, not anyone else, this is how you join the server. So once you're on, you go to multiplayer, add a server, and then call it whatever you want, and type in 25565. Done. So now as you can see, 
I can join my server and prove that we are on 1.5. It says it there, version 1.5. And, oh god. Let's see. I'm not, I'm not in creative mode, so I can't actually. So if we op. Scroll down. So I can, so I can actually see what I'm typing. So now we're going to op me. Op. Zaps 2k8. And now that will give me complete permission of the server. So next what we're going to do is slash game mode zaps 2k8 1 ah crap slash game mode did that work? no 1 zaps 2k and that's proved that we're in 1.5 where is it? where's the redstone stuff? there you go there's the hopper and there's everything else 1.5 right there for you there you go 1.5 so that is how you set up a bucket server. If you have any issues, then links to my website and my Facebook are in the description. You know, please check there. And there will also be a video response and a video in the description to server fixes if you do have any issues. Um, but yeah, now I'm going to show you how to do it if you download the pre-made servers. So if you download any of the pre-made servers, they will look a bit like this. Uh, they should look like two little bookcases or whatever program you need. If you want to, if you want to download it, uh, what you're going to need is WinRAR. First off, you can use any archiving tool. WinRAR is recommended. Download and install. Once it's installed, it should look a bit like this. What you want to do is right-click the version that you got, extract to server 32-bit or 64-bit, extract it. Once that's done, you should get a file on your desktop that looks a bit like this. Double-click it. Double click it again, double click it again, and in there, in this, there should be the, the two run dot bats for a cracked server and a non cracked server. So that is how you set it up. Uh, if you have any issues with it, links are all here for everything that you need. So that is it, guys, and yep, I hope this tutorial helps you. So thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.